Are you tired of your jaw falling off spontaneously? Well, I have a solution. Don't be like this guy. This is US golf champion Ebenezer Byers. This man was very rich and very successful, though that ended when he was on a train and the train was forced to stop abruptly. Which, if you've ever seen a train stop, you know they are not supposed to stop unexpectedly. He flew forward in the train and broke his arm in such a way it would hurt constantly. A doctor, aka not a good doctor because it was the early 1900s, prescribed Radithor as a painkiller. Radithor, besides sounding sus, is made out of other things that sound sus. It's only radium and water, though. He started taking a lot of the stuff, and over time, he probably was taking more than he should have. Radium is basically the opposite of calcium. It breaks down bones, since it is literally radioactive material. When he would drink this radium water, it would slowly destroy his jaw bones. Eventually, his jaw gave way, dislocated, and fell off. Oof. He had many surgeries, but just like Humpty Dumpty, they could not put him back together. Because that's almost impossible. Panaf lied. Then, he died. The end. Moral of the story. Wow, people in the early 1900s were dumb. Radioactive material? Why would you eat radioactive material? I don't get it. Who thought of this? Whose idea was to eat radioactive water? You don't even eat it, you drink it. Who drinks radioactive water? I don't get it. By the way, I am in a subscriber race right now. I may be ahead, but uh, I'd rather not take the chance, and you should just subscribe. 52 subs already is crazy, but hey, I wouldn't mind a hundred. I wouldn't mind a thousand. I mean, monetization. Hey, hey.